Hello everybody, this is Andrew here with the latest installment in the Parable of Tidy McNuts. This uh, episode is actually going to be devised in, uh, divided into two separate videos, and it's going to deal with bluffing and bluff catching on the river in a specific river situation. I want to warn everyone up front that this is going to um, kind of function as uh, not really an introduction to all of game theory, but it's going to be there's going to be a little bit of an introduction to game theory here, and specifically um, how game theory applies to some uh, to river situations, which is where its application is kind of the most straightforward. So that means a couple of things. Um, one, it means if you are already consider yourself pretty familiar with game theory, you're probably not going to get a lot out of this video. Uh, this is a relatively, frankly, I have a relatively simplistic understanding of game theory myself. Um, and I even learned a little bit about it just to help me make this video. But uh, you know, if, if you feel like you already have a sophisticated understanding of game theory, um, you probably won't get too much out of this video. And the second thing is that this is going to be um, a slightly more math intensive video even than some of the other Tidy McNutt's uh, videos that I've done. I don't think any of it is particularly complicated math. Uh, I don't, you know, basically, I think we get through maybe what I would consider sixth or seventh grade algebra. Um, it's, uh, and even that only shows up once here. For the most part, uh, I don't think it's very difficult to follow math, but uh, if you're one of those people who your eyes just glaze over anytime you see an equation, uh, I can't promise you this is an, a video that you'll enjoy. Um, I'm going to do my best to uh, make sure all the information that uh, that you need to make sense of this is both uh, delivered orally by me and also presented here on the screen. We're going to use a lot more slides than I do in some of my videos, so there'll be a lot of opportunities for you to pause, study an equation, um, go back to a previous section if you need to, and make sure you understand it. Um, you're probably not going to be able to watch this video exactly like you would a traditional poker video where you just sit down, press play, and kind of have it running in the background or you know while you're eating lunch or whenever it is that you watch your poker videos. You're probably going to need to be a little bit more actively engaged in this one. In particular, like I do in all of the Tidy McNutt's videos, I'm going to encourage you to pause the video at various points and um, try to figure things out for yourself. In some cases, it might even involve doing a little bit of math on your own. Um, you know, obviously, no one's there to slap you on the, the knuckles with a ruler if you don't do it, but uh, I really do think you're going to get the most out of this video and out of your subscription to Poker Savvy if you actually pause the video and try to come up with answers to at least some of this stuff yourself. Um, let me give you an idea up front of what our objectives are going to be for this video. Uh, first and, and uh, foremost is going to be to achieve a basic understanding of game theory and how it applies to poker. Um, this is going to be really basic stuff. Uh, in particular, understanding the difference between an optimal strategy and an exploitive strategy, and uh, when to employ each. You're going to learn um, how game theory can inform value betting, bluffing, and calling. And you're going to learn uh, just generally, this is really what game theory is for, how to make better decisions in situations where you are genuinely readless on an opponent, meaning you uh, either have no idea how the opponent is going to play or you think your opponent is better than you and um, you don't want to get into a guessing situation with him where you're trying to guess his bluffing frequency and he's trying to guess your calling frequency because you think that um, he's going to play that guessing game better than you are. And so basically you're in a situation where you're kind of trying to minimize your, um, your losses.